So just a quick overview of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to cover a few um, coding fundamentals. So variables, loops, conditions, and recursion is sort of like a bonus on top. So yeah, don't worry if you don't know what those words mean. That's what we're going to be teaching you today. Um, and we're going to be using Scratch, which is the program that we're going to be using to explore LA with Mary, who is sort of our main character in the story that we're kind of going through today. So what is Scratch? Um, Scratch is a block-based visual programming language where you can create little games, little stories. Um, and so you don't actually have to really type anything. They're just little blocks that you drag over. So you don't have to worry about typing in things correctly or anything like that. Um, and so yeah, today we're gonna be playing a game that explores some of those um, topics that I just mentioned, like variables. Um, so you guys will be able to gain some programming experience. So before we get started, um, let's make a Scratch account. Just a quick note, you can participate without making an account, but then none of your progress will be saved. So then you can't go back and look at it. So we should <laughs> make an account. I will send the link in the chat. Um, and why doesn't everyone just react when they're like, on the page. Okay, so now I believe I'm sharing my screen. So I'm at the home page um, of Scratch. And so you guys are gonna wanna click on this little join Scratch icon in the corner, um, create a username and a password, and then click next. It says don't use your real name. So maybe don't do that. Um, but yeah, um, just react again when you guys have finished doing that. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so let's dive into the actual material. So a variable is a container that holds a value, um, something that you guys might have seen as in math if you guys have used x and y. Um, usually you guys see like x equals one, y equals two. Um, and it's exactly the same in coding. You're just going to have, it's just going to be on a computer instead of on a piece of paper. So why are variables important in coding? So in programming strings, uh, which are basically just words, allow programmers to easily store, find, and change information in a program. So instead of needing multiple calculations to retrieve or edit data, the variable is just stored. And so you can use it whenever you need. You can always just reference X uh, when you need that value instead of having to set it or like type in like a really long number or word every single time. Um, and yeah, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to unmute yourselves or ping it in the chat or ping one of our volunteers if you want it to be anonymous. Um, so your first level will be helping Mary sort of get to this crab. You'll see um, in this coding block here, um, there's like define and then a bunch of little set blocks. So your variables in this case would be like move down first, move right first, and you'd be setting those values to a certain number to help her get to this little crab. Um, and then your second level will be about loops. So a loop helps the program repeat a set of instructions for a certain amount of time. A few examples of this would be like re replaying a song. Like if you're, I don't know, on Spotify and you click the little button that just repeats the song over and over again or running laps on a track, it's just doing an action uh, multiple times. So these are important because repetitive tasks are really common in programming. And loops are really helpful when it comes to saving time, minimizing errors, and even just minimizing the amount of code that you have to write. Loops allow programmers to shorten what could be like hundreds of lines of code to just a few, uh, which is really nice because you don't want to be typing that much. Um, and yeah, so that is what level two will be about. You'll see here, again, we have another screenshot of a code block. And your loop here will basically be this little repeat block um, because again, you're, you will just repeat whatever you put inside of this block as many times as you specify in this little, little white space. 
Um, next, uh, we have conditions. So programs can use conditions when it wants to dictate what code it wants to run. So the most common way you guys have probably seen this is just like an if and then statement. So like, if today is sunny, then like go to the beach or something like that. It's sort of just a prerequisite that has to be fulfilled in order for the next action to follow. Um, and they're important because they allow us to control what the program does, depending on the circumstances, depending on the environment. So they allow us to perform different actions based on these um, if then logic statements. They also allow us to interact with the user, um, something that you can't really do without um, these types of conditions. So that is what level three is about. Um, as you see here, um, the bus has to go over a bridge. And so you're going to use um, like if then statements to let the bus know when it should turn um, so that it can get to this building. Um, you'll see here, there's like an if then block. So Scratch also makes it pretty intuitive so that you guys can hopefully understand how conditions work. And then, uh, the last level is sort of a combination of everything uh, you guys learned. Um, this one is a little more difficult. All of them might be difficult. So again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, we all want you guys to learn as much as you can and coding is hard, uh, especially if this is your first time doing it. So let's get started. Uh, we have a coding guide for you guys, and I will send that in the chat. It has all of the links to the various levels, little hints, um, little things to help troubleshoot any like common issues. Uh, but again, just if you do run into issues, just ask um, the volunteer in your breakout room. So yeah, um, just one quick thing. Once you guys like click on the link, um, to the level, there'll be a button that says see inside. Uh, that's what you click on to get to the actual blocks for the code so you guys can actually work on it. Um, and yeah, I will um, put you guys in your breakout rooms uh, where you guys will work with a volunteer for the next, I don't know, 40 minutes. I will send like a broadcast message and then call you guys in probably with like five or 10 minutes left in the workshop. So we can just have a quick recap and, I don't know, talk about what we thought, all of the things. Um, how did you guys think the levels were? Does anyone have any thoughts or anything? Um, we got to the recursion level and that got confusing. <laughs> If not, that's totally fine too. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys had a good time. Um, here's just a quick recap of all the things that we went through. Um, so we went over variables, which is just a container that holds value. Again, like you guys probably just remember this as like X and Y. I feel like that's a very easy way of remembering uh, what a variable is. Uh, we went over loops, which just helps the program repeat a set of instructions for a certain amount of time. Like in the definition, the word repeat, that's what you guys use to make loops um, in the levels. And then we went over conditions, which is used to dictate what code it wants to run. So you guys saw this as the if then statements um, or the if then blocks inside of your levels and then if you guys had time, you guys went over recursion, which is what is used to call a program over and over again. If you guys didn't get to that, um, you guys do have the coding 101 guide. So you can always go through it um, later on your own time if you wanted to learn it. Um, and like Bonnie said in the chat, remember to submit your passwords to the Google form. And if you do that, you'll be entered in the raffle more times so you have more chances to win something. And that's pretty much it. Um, 
here are some additional resources if you guys wanted to learn more about coding. Um, the slides should also be linked to the Coding 101 guide. So if you ever wanted to refresh your memory on these concepts, you can do that as well. Um, and yeah, I think that concludes this workshop. Um, so you guys are free to leave if you want to. Um, if you had any questions, you can always stay after and ask um, as well. But otherwise, I hope you guys had a good time. Um, and yeah. <laughs>